um, my homie in my high school used to rap and he used to get all the attention. So I'm like, I can rap too. He is living in the future of rap. This is how Vice Magazine described Lil Uzi Vert. He's one of those America's hot artists who got discovered on SoundCloud. The charismatic young rapper, who calls himself a rock star, has developed his own musical style, which is labeled with the term emo rap or lo-fi rap. Current events are proof that the artist never stops to amaze his fans. Some think that he's becoming a real-life anime character thanks to the new pink diamond pierced on his forehead. But in today's video, let's dive deeper into Lil Uzi Vert. Here are 8 interesting Lil Uzi Vert facts you didn't know about. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like on this video if you're a fan of Lil Uzi. Also, if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Number 8. There's Deep Meaning Behind Vert Lil Uzi Vert mega fans already know that his unique stage name came about thanks to one anonymous man. According to the Philly rapper, one man approached him and described his rap flow as fast, like a little machine gun. The young rapper thought that it was the right way to describe his melodic hardcore rapping style. But here's the interesting part. As we all know, he joined SoundCloud in 2012, but didn't upload his first track until 2014. Before that, he was rapping under the name C-Lab Vertical. Notice the similar ending of both of his stage names? Vert, just like vertical, stands for straight up, which represents his ambition to move upwards, as well as his character. He says, I'm just doing me, and to me, that's what got me this far. Number 7. The Reason of Lil Uzi's Controversial Face Tattoo Thanks to one unpleasant work experience at his first and only job, Lil Uzi Vert ended up getting his first face tattoo. Lil Uzi Vert worked part-time for four days as a stock boy for a grocery store called Bottom Dollar Food in Philadelphia. After the star quit his job, he was kicked out of the house by his strict mother. It was during these hard times when the rapper decided to take his rap career seriously. The reason he inscribed the word faith on his forehead is that no one would take him seriously in a suit and tattoo on a forehead at the office. It was definitely a bold and risky step, but it forced him to focus on his rap career and do what he wanted. Great move, Woods. And let's not forget to mention how the bottom dollar food went out of business just a couple of months after Uzi quit. Number 6. He played trumpet in high school. As we know, it wasn't until high school that the uber-successful musician started rapping. Turns out his music interests weren't limited to hip-hop. In high school, he played the cornet as well, and then upgraded to the trumpet. Fun fact, the first song he ever learned was Hot Cross Buns. But the young rapper didn't play brass instruments because of his love and interest for jazz. In fact, it was a great way to stay out of trouble. Who knew Lil Uzi Vert was so talented in all aspects of music, and not only rap? Number 5. Lil Uzi is obsessed with Marilyn Manson Young Spada from Philly likes being called a rock star. The reason for that might be his biggest inspiration, the controversial rock star Marilyn Manson. Lil Uzi grew up listening to Yin Yang Twins, and he credits a lot of musicians as his inspiration, including Kanye West, ASAP Rocky, Pharrell Williams, and Wiz Khalifa. But Marilyn Manson is the man he would die for. Eight-year-old Rhymer discovered Marilyn Manson after MTV's Celebrity Deathmatch, which featured Marilyn and singer Ricky Martin. It was love at first sight, and he listened to Marilyn Manson on repeat since then. He even has a Marilyn Manson $100,000 chain, which has more than 16,000 diamonds and 155 carats. Imagine his happiness when the goth rock performer opened up about meeting him for the first time. He had this attitude that reminded me of me when I was his age. As far as we know, they've become close friends. Lil Uzi even called him annoying, because apparently Marilyn never answers FaceTime calls. Hip-hop star and 90s shock rocker have one of the most unlikely friendships in the music industry. Number 4. Lil B is the inspiration behind his diamond forehead implant. If you follow Lil Uzi on social media, it would be impossible to miss out on the star's new look. Lil Uzi Vert quickly became a hot topic after he showed off his $24 million pink diamond pierced on his forehead on February 3, 2021. That, according to Lil Uzi, is more than the value of all his cars in his home. After his Instagram post went viral, some became concerned for his safety, especially after he shared a photo of blood leaking from the pink diamond, not to mention how he could actually die if the rock isn't removed correctly. He also became the center of jokes after fans started comparing him to the Marvel superhero Vision. Apparently it wasn't Vision who inspired him to get the 10 carat diamond implant, but American rapper Lil B. In his music video Tiny Pants, the rapper is donning a small diamond in the middle of his forehead. Number 3. Lil Uzi Vert is Sober after Lil Uzi's friend and fellow rapper Lil Peep passed away from an alleged overdose in November 2017, the Philly rapper decided to go sober. After the news broke, he went on Twitter to express his sympathy and understanding. 
He even publicly offered a small insight into his own struggles with addiction, which later received a positive response. But before Uzi was preaching sobriety, he was willing to die for Marilyn Manson at the age of 27. Remember? A wild internet theory started surrounding him when some fans thought he wanted to join the mysterious 27 Club. For those that don't know, the 27 Club is a list of famous people who died at the age of 27. This list includes Kurt Cobain, Amy Winehouse, Jimi Hendrix, and others. Uzi finally addressed the bizarre theory, saying that he won't be one of those people who passed away from overdose at age 27, and urged us to say no to drugs. Number 2. He's a die-hard anime fan Lil Uzi Vert has made no secret of his love for anime, but surprisingly, it wasn't love at first sight. According to the artist, he initially thought anime was a bit weird at first. But thanks to his then-girlfriend and stylist, Brittany Bird, Uzi discovered amazing anime he later fell in love with. Since then, anime inspired his work a lot. In April of 2020, he dropped his new song Sasuke, named after Naruto's rival, and he also referenced the anime in his 2018 song New Paddock. One more evidence of his love towards anime is his insane anime-inspired car collection. Number 1. Lil Uzi is very close with his grandmother And the last interesting fact we'll be covering today is all about his close relationship with his grandmother. When the mother kicked him out of the house, he went to live with his grandmother. He said she always believed in him and encouraged him to move forward. She even gave him his first rap CD by Ying Yang Twins, who Lil Uzi grew up listening to and made the upcoming Philly star fall in love with rap. In 2019, she faced some serious medical conditions, which took a toll on Lil Uzi. Luckily, the woman who he says he loves more than clothes is recovering. She's the one we need to thank for the music of Lil Uzi Vert. And that brings us to the end of today's list. Is there any fact about Lil Uzi that we missed out on? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching, until next time.